Aha, finally I found you. Today I will make an 18650 lithium battery charger. First of all, I need to charge this cell without using this big generic charger. So I went with some TP1456 charging modules that features a micro USB port habilitating a lithium cell charging with a phone charger. Also I got a bunch of holders, some switches, screw terminals for the mine power and a piece of color plexiglass. Besides some screws and zip ties, this is everything I need for this build. With two zip ties I made a single 5 cells holder, two of them were made so I can charge 10 cells simultaneously. After marking the space where all the stuff will fit in, I cut the plexiglass and I smooth it with some sanded belt action. And I get this, actually two of them. This masking tape is amazing. I have used it to join these two pieces together with all holders so I can drill through them using these holes as a guide. Looking pretty well. Then I enlarged them so I can fit a M3 screws inside. This will keep everything together like this. Meanwhile that I fixed it in place, I have marked all points where I will pass through all cables. Looking good. I positioned it temporarily all charging circuit, fixing them in place with some masking tape. So I can mark the position of all via holes. It's getting better every time. Great, the top piece is ready, some work must be done on the bottom piece. With this awesome drill bit, all holes will be V-shaped, so when a nut will be positioned inside, it won't scratch my table. These screw terminals will be used to deliver a 5V line to all chargers. They will be held by some of the structural bolts. By drilling through plexiglass, I was able to fit all screw terminals in. All the excess plastic were grinded away, so now everything is flat as the earth. Just kidding. After measuring, cutting, repeating, soldering, repeating, heat tubing, fire, more fire, joining, heat tubing, fire. This is the result. Part 2 of this build is electrical, everything must be connected following this diagram. These are the heart of this project. After using some double sided duct tape to hold them in place permanently, I have connected all cables, passing them through all holes made previously and soldering them. All ground wires were soldered together with the ugliest connection ever and protected with some heat tubing. With these switches I will be able to control every charger making them independent one from each other. I glued all switches to the plexiglass. Some sanding is needed to make a rough surface, so they can stick better. Then I connected all the positive and negative wires to their respective screw terminals, ending the electrical part. Some custom length screws were made to achieve the desired separation distance, alongside some spacers. To hold all screws in place temporarily, I had to use some masking tape and then I positioned all spacers. Then, with the help of a screwdriver, everything was joined together. And lastly, four soft pads were glued to the bottom to prevent scratches to my table. Talking about screws, their respective nuts were fixed permanently in place with some nail polish. I said nuts, not my finger. Everything is done now. So yeah, and they have just this cell for my beautiful charger. I need some more of them. Check this video where I show you where do I get this 18650 lithium battery cells and how to recover them. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.